All right. This is my second attempt at a video. My camera turned off, so here we go. So as before, the first thing you need to do is wedge your clay. Always wedge. All right, now take just a little bit off. And what you do is start, and you're using that pinch pot technique, but you're just trying to make it come into a little round flat disc. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you're going to work it more later. So you start out like a quarter inch thick. And then you're going to make coils. And so with this, you start out with, you know, just a little log and then you're rolling back and forth. But I'm not just going back and forth. You can see my hands are moving and it's kind of this seesaw motion. And that makes sure that you're rolling along the whole length of the coil evenly. But it also kind of pulls and stretches the clay at the same time. You'll run into times when your clay gets, see how that's very oval, flat, tall. So if you roll that up, you just kind of push it down with your knuckles and roll it round. Okay. And don't worry about getting coils as long as I am at this point. You can start with very short coils. So the next step, you start to push it on to your base. So you can see I just give it a little push, make sure it's attached. Keep bringing it around. All right. So I have two layers. So then the next step is to join the clay. So I'm using an inside finger, pressing the clay down. And I'm not just smoothing over the clay, I'm actually digging in, getting a roll of clay under my fingertip, pulling it down. And this is important because we're not doing a score and slip technique. We actually have to mash the clay together. And if you don't, as it dries, your coils will just pop apart. So you do the inside, smooth it out a little, come back and now you're on the outside. And on the very bottom layer, I smooth upwards. So it helps to get that bottom more rounded and a little bit thinner than it would be if you go downward. Two. Okay, so I got that. Now I'm gonna go back and smooth like I did on the inside. And with this first layer, it's a little harder. And with the other, you have to go sometimes all different directions to get it joined well. But it's okay. Okay. Do, 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 do. All right. So we can come back later and work this stuff off. But make sure you don't have any cracks or like big rolls. All right. Next layer. So. Like before, start with a little tube and just start rolling it out. Can you hear that? That's that ovaling problem. So I roll it up, just press it with my knuckles, roll it around. So coil construction is really lovely to me because the technique has been around in almost every culture around the entire earth for many thousands of years. So no matter where your ancestors are from, whether it's this land or like for me in Europe and Italy, everybody use this technique. So it's a real, a real piece of human heritage. Okay. So two layers high, and I'm gonna start on, start on the outside, start on the inside, it doesn't matter. And as you're doing this, you can leave this texture in or you can go back and really smooth it out well later. But again, the important part is that you're really moving clay and not just smoothing over it. You don't want it to just be like this because 
just comes right apart. So really grab with that fingertip. And if you have fingernails, you can do it with the back of that fingernail and it actually works really well. Or if you have fingernails also, you can use your metal rib to do it. All right, outside. Now the inside. Okay. And now all that's left is to go back in and clean it up, especially on the inside. You want it very smooth. So this is a good place to start practicing. This is just a plastic version of the metal rib that you guys have. We can get in there. And it really cleans it up fast. Just smooths it right out. And just hit it with a little thumb. Maybe a little bit of water on your finger. And you can really work it clean. All right. So then on the outside, same thing. You can do it with a rib or you can do it with your fingers. For me, there's something about creating something using nothing but your hands that I really appreciate. So, you know, that is a very basic and a very messy pinch pot. We need to get them much cleaner than this if you can. And like before, take a picture of it for your portfolio, smash it, put it back in your bag.